Hey guys, welcome back to Electrical Car Repair Live. In today's video, guys, we have an engine light on on the BMW here on that uh, BMW 91 that we're rebuilding here. Let me just switch the cameras to show you uh, the one that we got, guys, from Copart heating the front. Finally, we're putting it together. Radiators are on, as you saw. We uh, we bled the cooling system. We started it. The car sounds terrible, misfiring. So. In today's video, we'll show you how to test the uh, BMW ignition coils, guys, or to know if your ignition coil is bad for sure or not. So, what we are going to do, okay, let me just start the car quick for you. Hopefully the battery is not dead. Okay, it fired up. Okay, the car will run for a little bit. Okay, and the engine light will come on. Okay, just give it a second and it will turn on. And uh, that traction light that we have in the 4x4 is because we haven't driven it at all and the sensors are not initiated yet. Okay, you can see engine light is on. So, what we are going to do guys, okay, I'm going to go ahead. Okay, let me turn the, uh, the engine off and just turn the ignition on. Okay, you can see like that. And I'll go to drive connect to the engine computer and let's see what uh, what code we're going to get okay cylinder number one misfire right there it's present cylinder number one okay remember that so most likely 29 cd this is ignition code guys so we're going to go ahead and erase the codes now yes we confirm codes have been erased so now let's go ahead and test the coil Okay, I'll just leave the computer here on the side. I'll turn the ignition off. It's very important to uh, turn all the way off. Yep, like that. And we're going to go ahead. And we already have the engine cover off. We'll have a video how to take it off. It's super simple. You just pull it out. Now, cylinder number one is that first cylinder here. They go one, two, three, four, five, six. You're lucky if you have all the way to four, five and six, you have to do some disassembly to get to it. But now, ignition coil number one, it says it's bad. So what we're going to do, okay, we'll pull the cable out of it. And we're going to switch the ignition coil on cylinder number one with the cylinder number two. Because those things are really complicated built. So it's uh, practically... I don't think it's possible to test them with an ohm meter or anything like that. Now, if we put, if that coil is bad and we put it on cylinder number two, what will happen? We'll actually have an engine code, engine light, and code that relates to misfire cylinder number two. Have to make sure we plug everything in. So, we're going to go ahead inside, start it, and see if that will be the case. If we have a misfire on cylinder number two, it's a bad coil. And we know which one it is. Okay, let's see now. The engine light will be off because we just reset it. That is crazy how, how dirty everything is here. Okay, engine light is on. So, let's go back to the scanner now. Okay, we're going to go ahead and read the codes again. Cylinder number two. You see that? How it changed and which means that this ignition coil guys is bad so just switch it with another cylinder ignition coil and uh you see if yours is bad if it needs to be replaced that way you don't have to waste money otherwise it might be spark plug you you can investigate more it could be lost compressor and things like that so thank you guys for watching please subscribe and many more videos to come